Hey guys, welcome back. I watched the premiere of Jordan Peele's new film, Us, when it hit theaters last week, and let me just say, mind blown. <laughs> there are so many metaphors, hidden meanings, the use of foreshadowing, symbolism and imagery, twists and turns, so many things that you won't catch the first time around. The fact that it was all written, produced, and directed by Jordan Peele is truly inspirational. What a legend. I think that that deserves a quick round of applause. So with that being said, if you haven't seen the movie yet, I highly, highly recommend that you watch it. So let's talk about what we're doing today. You probably clicked on this video because you've seen the movie and you really liked it. Otherwise, I'm not sure why you'd be here. But if you haven't seen the movie yet, here is a one sentence synopsis given by IMDb. A family's serenity turns into chaos when a group of doppelgangers begins to terrorize them. The doppelgangers in this film are referred to as the tethered. They stand for what the darker side of us looks like. So in the movie, every single person has a tethered version of themselves. And throughout the movie, the tethers are trying to kill the real version of themselves. I hope you didn't get confused there. <laughs> so when I was coming home from the theater, it got me thinking, what would my evil doppelganger look like? And that's basically what inspired this video. So today I'm going to be transforming myself into my tethered version of myself. Out of all the doppelgangers in this movie, the daughter Zora had the most unique look in my opinion, besides red of course. Her look really stood out to me, the slicked back straight hair, the dark eyes, the no eyebrows, the high contour cheekbones. I live. I loved it. When I saw her look, I was like, oh my god, they really did that. Like, she looks so good. So I'm just going to be pulling inspiration from her look today, so let's get started. So first, I'm going to start off really quickly with my complexion. Since the cheeks are very heavily contoured and I'm going to block out my eyebrows, I figured that it would be a good start to lay an even base on my face first. So I'm going to just go in with a light hand of foundation. Since I already have, like, natural discoloration around my eyes, <laughs> I'm kind of going to, like, avoid going too close to my under eyes. Obviously, I'm not going to put on concealer because I kind of want to look dead inside. So for my brows, it's going to be a little tricky because the technique that they used for Zora's brows was they got like a tinted mascara that was like the same color as her uh, skin tone. Basically just like ran it through and it made them blend in with her skin tone. So I'm thinking I could just like put some foundation on this spoolie and maybe try to do that. Pray for me because this does not seem efficient. I guess what I'm really just trying to achieve here is like lighter brows because I'm obviously not trying to go for like the drag technique where I'm literally blocking out my brows and like gluing them down and setting them. I'm just trying to like lighten my brows. I mean that doesn't look too bad. So now what I want to do is really just contour my cheeks and make them look like sucked in. So I think that this baking method will help to enhance that sharp little contour moment. So I'm going to let that bake for like five minutes. I'm not really huge on baking, so I'm going to be really fast with this. And then I'll be back to put black on my eyes and <laughs> we're basically done. This is a really, really easy look, I think. So next we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to put some black eyeshadow on the lid. And then I think I'm going to put some bronzer or maybe some just brown eyeshadow to enhance my dark circles. These dark circles are hereditary, by the way. Um, so thank you, mom, because you really, um, you really helped me for this video. That looks really good. From here, I'm just gonna build it up to a darker brown because I really like the way this looks. It looks like kind of natural. I feel like if I were to put the black on the lid, it'd look a little bit more like, like too makeup-y. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm gonna see where we're at with the darker brown and then from there, I'll decide if I wanna do black or not. I think I'm gonna add just the tiniest bit of black to my lids and then just really diffuse it because it, this isn't giving me like the effect that I really, really want. I may look like kind of dumb right now, but like, let me just like tell me you're not scared. Like you're a little scared. Come on. So what I wanted to do with my hair was basically the same thing, except I'm not going to straighten it because I'm trying not to use heat on my hair. So I'm just going to wet it 
and then like slick it back a little bit and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I really look scary. Like I'm, this looks like real. Like I haven't slept in days like this. Like tell me I don't look scary. Like I look, I want, I really did that. Wow. So for the hair, I noticed that a lot of the characters, their hair looks like really oily and greasy and kind of just dirty and nasty. So I'm gonna put some um, argan oil, some of this, on my hair just to kind of mimic that effect. I actually showered today, which I should have maybe put off of doing for this video, but it's fine. So I'm just gonna run that through my hair really quick. It's not really gonna give me that same effect, but it just looks shinier. I'm just gonna wet the tops of my hair. Just kind of keep going like this. Kind of just spray it everywhere. Kind of sucks that I showered my hair because now I have to wet it again. Now I think the only thing I have to do is just change into my outfit and <laughs> we have our look. This is the final look. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I had so much fun transforming into my evil doppelganger tether version of myself. I have no idea how she would actually be. What would her weakness be? I don't know. I just know that she'd be really evil and she'd want to kill me. So wish her the best. Hope she's doing fine in those tunnels. And when she comes to get me, I'll be ready. So <laughs> I'll be ready to kick her ass. Okay, so don't, don't play with me. Don't play with me. I wonder what her name would be though. Leave a comment down below saying what you think my evil tether's name would be because like everyone has a different name like Adelaide has Red and Jason has Pluto, Gabe has Abraham, like what would my name be? Tell me in the comments down below. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every single week. As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.